Right. So I was missing a sword. I don't know where or when, but now I'm fully up my level. Fully up my level. Hi guys, and here again from Mudlad Designs, continuing the playthrough of, I'll just grab it, Dragon Dungeon. There we go. Um, but before we do, I have a couple of corrections to make. The first one is in the last video. The last action I took was number one, but I forgot to lock it off, which I'm going to do right now. You must lock an action off when you've taken it. And uh, if you remember, you can only unlock actions that are adjacent to the action you've just taken. So this six action is also going to be locked as well. So next turn, I will not be able to use any of these. And the next correction, a bit more important, is that when I was rolling the die, I was rolling four dice. That is for multiplayer. You can play this multiplayer. In solo, you only roll your three dice and place them where you need to place them. And then if you are fighting a monster, then you roll this other die and place it to see what monster you get. So yeah, I've been cheating a bit by rolling the four dice, but you only need three when you're rolling for solo mode. So I'm going to be doing that from now on. I think that's it. I've caught up with everything else. So let's continue by rolling our dice and see what we get. Right, so we can't use the six because that's been blocked off. We can use the two and the three though. Um, the two will give us a move, fight a monster, and a treasure and three will allow us to move twice and fight a monster so let's have a look I think I will do this and then this and then this like so so we are going to be moving one and I'm going to do that now so we can move there lovely we are going to be fighting a monster. So this is where you roll this die now. So let's see what monster we come up with. That's a six, that goes there. Six and three is nine. So that is going to be this monster here. And it is a minion, because it does not have fangs. So we're looking down the minion side. We're looking at this one here. So. Defense of five. And remember, we can add one to our roll. So let's hope we can kill it off. Don't know if you can see that, but that was definitely a six. Six and one is seven, more than the five. We have killed another creature. And we've got a sword, which means we can scribble that sword off. So we can now add two to our dice roll. But of course, this is going to be locked. Oh, I forgot to get the treasure as well. So, yes, I can get a treasure. But that will be locked, which means I can unlock this one. And move that out of the way. What treasure? Shall I get another point? I mean, the dragon is right next to me. Well, sort of. I might get another two to move. I'm going to get another two. So I can move one, two. So that is now locked off. Um, we're looking here. We're in room C. We're looking at room C. Does our die show one, two or three? Nope, it shows a six. So we're fine with that. And we've did the monster. So these can go away next turn. Let's see what we get. Two fours and a two. Well, we can't use the two, it's locked off. Um, well, we have to use a four, because that's all we've got left. <laughs> um, so four is definitely going to have to go there. And let's put that there, and then that there. So we can move two. I'm happy with that, getting away from that dragon. We can gain another treasure, and I think I might just gain another level up. 
So yet another level up. But the dragon is going to move two, so we're going to go one, two. And then that is going to be locked off. Nothing either side of it. So we now have three options locked off for next turn. Um, movement of the dragon, I've got pen all over me. <laughs> and the dragon is not going to move. We are in room C. We have a four, there's no four there. The dragon's not going to move and we didn't encounter any monsters. So we can take that off. So on to the next turn. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can get. Two fives and a three. Let's go with a three there. I could go with the five and I could move five, but I am going to be stopped by this creature, by this monster. So one, two, three. So I'm going to waste movement. That's why I'm putting the three there. And then of course the five's gonna go there, and the five's gonna go there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move two. So at least we can move another two. And now we're on to room D. And um, we're gonna face off against a monster. And let's see which monster we're gonna face off with. So five and one is six. So we're gonna face off against the slime. And it doesn't have fangs, so it is a minion, and that's four. So we just need to get a four or more. Yes, six. Plus we can add three because of our levelling up. So we have another creature we've killed off, which means we get another treasure. And I'm going to get... Let's get another point. Let's try and level up the best we can. Um, so that has now been done. Yeah, I've done the two, I've done the monster. So that's going to be blocked. Of course, it's going to unblock either side. So I can do that. Then we look at the dragon. We are in room D this time. We're just there in room D. Room D, is it a one, two, three or four? No, nope, it's a five. So we're okay with that one. And we did the monster. So let's continue on. Let's have a look. We are gonna face off against a boss monster. Let's see what we get. Let's go with. Let's go with the two. Let's go with. Let's go with the four there and the six there. So let's go with this. We are going to move one, and that's all we could move anyway because we're going to face off against a monster. Now we're either facing off against um, a minion or a boss. I still have no reply on Board Game Geek as to which one it is. Um, so I'm going to go with the boss and we've got four and let's roll this one and a two is six so we're facing off against the slime uh, but facing off against the boss slime the big boss slime with a defense of six so let's see what we get and remember we can add three because we've leveled up so four five six seven beats the six of the slime we have got yet another boss and when we kill a boss monster if you can see here I'll zoom in for you because we're on easy mode once we kill a boss monster it's equal to two minions so we can cross off two on here so I am going to cross off one which means I get another key which means I can do this and then add that to there um, and then another sword so I can cross this sword off very nice so we've defeated the monster and we still have a treasure to unlock so let's unlock the treasure with um, that's already done let's get another point 
See if we can get some points in. And of course that is now locked. Which means this one is unlocked. And then we come here. We're in room D. We have six. We don't have a six on this line, so that's okay. And then we've already fought the monster. So we're gonna carry on. Let's see what we get. Five, five and a one. Let's put the five there, and then we can at least unlock the six. Um, let's put the five there, and then the one there. So, we are going to move five. One, two, three, four, five. The dragon is going to move three. One, two, three. And we are going to face off against a boss monster. Um, of course, this one's locked. I'll lock this so I don't forget. And of course, this one is now unlocked. So we need to roll to add to this to see what monster we get. That's a three. Three and one is four. We're coming up against a... I don't know what that is. Let me just check. It actually tells you what all the monsters are in the instructions. Give me a second and we will see what we're coming up against. Here we go. We come up against a four, so it's a vampire. In assassin form. Which is that one there. We're coming up against the boss, so that is eight. But don't forget, we can add all these. So here we go. Let's see if we can defeat the vampire in assassin form. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've done that. Because it was a boss monster, we can cross two of these off. So I'm going to get a treasure. Um, I'm going to go for points again. And then cross this one off. And we're going to get another sword. There we go. Am I missing a sword? because we can fill all these in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am missing a sword, aren't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing a sword somewhere. A sword that I haven't filled in. Because all that's filled in all them are swords and all this is filled in and this has got swords and these are the only two things that have swords so I was missing a sword somewhere but um, leveled up now we can't level up anymore we've done our actions onto the monster and we're on to room E so we're on room E so one two three four five we do have a five so the dragon is going to move three one two three we only need one two three four to get out let's hope we do it take that one take these two and then we're going to roll let's see if we can make it out five six and three we can't use the five it's blocked off um we can use the six or the three let's use the six here no, because the dragon is going to move. We can't use the five up there. If we put the six there, then we have to use the three, move two and fight a monster. Uh, no, I'm going to leave it as it is. Six there. I'm going to put... Um, doesn't really matter. We put the five there and the three there. So the six means we can unlock two treasures, but we can't lock them, unlock them on the same track. So I'm going to unlock this one. And then I'm going to unlock this one, which means I can immediately move two. So one, two, we're getting closer. We lock that one off, but unlock that one. We're not tackling any monsters. So we don't need this one. 
the dragon is going to move three because we have a five and there's a five there so one two three the dragon is a final rush to get to us let's see let's see if we can get out a one a two or a three can't use the two it's blocked I am going to put the one there and I'm going to put the three there and the two there so we can move three one two we've made it out we've done it once you've made it out you don't have to do any of the other stuff as far as I'm aware so we don't have to do the dragon moves even if it did one two three it wouldn't have caught up to us but we have made it out of the dragon's den hopefully we've got the dragon's egg so we're going to start touching up all these scores so we have one two three four five six so that's six six there we haven't done any of those we have one two points there for that so we've got a six there sorry we've got a six and eight I should say we should be adding those points up so that's an eight six seven eight for the points next we have each sword crossed on this banner we have one point so there was one two three four five six seven crossed off so we've got seven of them for each enemy crossed off here we get two points so we've got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen sixteen we've escaped so we get the ten points and we would have got 25 points if we were fighting against the dragon and we defeated the dragon but we didn't so we don't get those 25 points it's just a case of now adding these up and putting the score here um, this every time you die if the dragon ever catches you and you're fighting against the dragon and you're defeated you're going to cross off one of these gravestones and then the dragon is moved one space behind you so every time it kills you you're going to be crossing these off so you can be killed five times you've got five lives on this one on the others you have three but this one you have five and um, we weren't caught by the dragon and it says here if you were for every time you were caught you're going to get three points we weren't caught by the dragon so we don't get any points there we're just going to add these up and put the total there which when added together gives us 41 so 41 points and we do have a chart where are we here we go this little chart here so we got 41 which is here a potential hero go for more adventures there we go so that is dragon dungeon i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope i played it right <laughs> but that is generally how you play it a quick and simple game that you can play with some dice a few tokens and a, a pencil and an eraser you'll notice you don't really rub anything out so you just need a pencil thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i will see you in another playthrough but until then i will catch you guys later